What up, y'all? How y'all doing? My name is Tim Black. Welcome to the Tim Black Show. Glad you could tune in. I want to talk to you about Megan Thee Stallion. I am that Tory Lanez. You are not Megan Thee Stallion. Meaning, all this shit I'm seeing online, everybody tripping out. It's unnecessary. Say it about you. Did you shoot somebody in the foot? Did you lie about somebody shooting you in the foot? Did you sleep with somebody and lie about it? Or whatever. We are not these people. I respect the culture. I grew up in the culture. I'm part of the culture. But I'm also going to say, calm the fuck down on the toy lanes and making, st making the stallion stuff. Because it's not our lives. We got biggest fish to fry. We got real shit going on. And when I see people beating each other's ass online about it, going at each other, attacking one another over this, and using it as a as a surrogate. Remember that time that guy cheated on you or smacked you in the mouth? He didn't go to jail, so I'm rooting for Megan Thee Stallion. This is that football. Remember that time that woman lied on you, said X, Y, Z, ran your name through the mud? Uh, you are not watching a game of wrestling, dude. Whoever that woman was, whoever she is, she's not making a stallion. So it's a lot of, like, insert name of other person trying to defend uh, some other shit that's going on with making the stallion. These two celebrities that are making so much money, that are so rich, so successful, they don't need you fighting for them. They don't need you to fight for them. Now, I'm not saying don't care about it. I'm not saying we can't have conversations. I'm not saying there aren't bigger implications. I'm not saying there aren't some serious conversations that could be generated from this. But what all I'm saying is mostly blood and carnage on live. Jesus Christ. Man, TikTok and YouTube and Facebook and it looks like it's just bodies everywhere. That's the first thing. We need to respect each other to a certain degree so we can have conversations and not eat each other alive. We got to live here. We got to live amongst each other. I don't want us to be more separated than we already are after this video. That's not the purpose. But let's cut the shit, guys. Megan Thee Stallion lied a couple times. First she said she stepped on glass. She didn't step on glass. She got shot in the ass. Was shot in the foot. But when you lie, no matter what the reason is, some people are gonna call you a liar. That's not sexist. That's what happens. Okay, she lied for a good reason. She lied. Well, she didn't lie for a good reason. And she did not lie for a good person. Because if you lie for a good person, and then you're in the hot seat because you lied for him, that person's supposed to come in and be like, look, dog, nah, man. I did it. But that's like, you know, that's what we want them to do. How many people really do that? How many people really come in and say, hey, nah, man, I can't let you take the weight from me, man. I can't let them little Kim you, Megan. Because they would have little Kimmed her. Now, when the state says, we want to know what happened, and you get falsified information, they threaten to little Kim your ass. Those who don't know, little Kim is that rapper that does this. And she's probably the greatest female lyricist that has ever lived. Or at least one of them. Top five. I say the best. I, I think she's the best. But I'm old. School. The point is this, guys. What I'm trying to get to, and excuse my granddaughter because she's crying and I'm trying to work. An incident occurred a little Kim held her ground. She did not tell. She did not snitch. She did not do a Charleston White. And for that, she went to jail for a year and one day. And she was at the peak of her career. At the peak, peaky, peak, peak, tippity top, top of her career. And she went away for a whole year because she would not tell on someone. Is that something that little Kim would do again? I don't know. She BK for life. What I'm saying is, Megan Thee Stallion did not have to try to live up to little Kim, and she should not. So the first re lesson here is, Megan's, Megan Thee Stallion, she lied about being shot in the foot first. To cover for Tory Lanez, who begged her to. He begged her to. He begged her. Cops is coming. Please, please, Megan, please. Don't tell him I did it. 
Look out for a brother, sister. Look out for a brother. Come on, Dale. Don't let a brother go to jail. I'm already on probation. They're going to deport me. I don't want to live with Drake. I don't even like pancakes and maple syrup. I can't go back to Canada. Or whatever was going through his mind. But the point is, I believe that Megan Thee Stallion did that with the best intentions. But for whatever reason, she decided to recant. Then she also said she did not have a sexual relationship with Tory Lanez. But if you boink someone, that's a relationship. And if you boink someone that your girlfriend's boinking, then you're both, you're having a threesome without even knowing it. So these are all things that happen. But regardless of how you feel about them, it doesn't matter in the end because she did not deserve to be shot. And I believe that Megan Thee Stallion did not shoot herself and there was only three people in that car and I put my money on Tory. When you watch something on TV, you don't get it all, you don't get all the information right away. Right away. Information comes in in pieces. And depending on your news source, you may never get the, the real story. So you're walking around, running your mouth, shouting, typing online, making video content with half information. A lot of people did not believe Megan Thee Stallion or had very serious doubts when there was no DNA of Tory Lanez found on that gun. I know that your Sean Kings and your Macari Sellers and your Jamel Hills, all these people want to pretend that they're, you know, you know, it's obviously Tory Lanez did it. But you know what? If there was a black man who was shot by a cop and the cop said the man was holding a gun, but if we tested the gun and there was no DNA on the gun, we say that cop was lying. We say that that gun was planted. That's what we say. We say it all the time when the DNA doesn't come up on the gun. But when there's no DNA on the gun, there is DNA on the gun. It's just inc inconclusive about whose it is. Maybe for whatever reason, the gun wasn't handled properly. They can't pull the, they can't pull the DNA in order to give you an exact match. It does that mean that the gun shot itself. It does that mean that a ghost popped into that vehicle and shot Megan Thee Stallion in the foot outside and then, or whatever, and was like, then poof away. Nah, it does not mean that. It does not mean that immaculate conception Whose baby is that? No one knows. The baby just appeared in her stomach, in her womb. No. So, even though the DNA did not come back as Tory, that doesn't mean he didn't do it because somebody did it. There's only three people there. So either you think that Tory did it or you think Kelsey did it or you think Megan did it. If you think Megan did it, you're crazy. That's pretty That's pretty obvious that wasn't the way the gun was, it was pointed at her. You could tell the trajectory. Because you can't just take the gun and position it to make it seem like someone over there shot her when she shot herself. That's easy to, do, you know. Plexico Burris shot himself in the leg at a club back in the 2000s. That was obvious. This, someone else shot her. So that's the point. That's the point. That's what I'm getting to here. Someone else shot her. We know it. But what I'm saying is, to people that are looking at this, and they have other shit to do, and they hear that there's no DNA evidence on the gun, it's not like they're crazy to think, hey, maybe this story is not what Megan's saying. She lied twice already, even if, they're, even if you think they're for good reasons. A lie is still a lie. And, and, we got no DNA on the gun. Okay, so those reasons matter. So I just want people to stop Character assassinating each other online over this. When it's very reasonable if you heard those points. And that's all you heard. It's very reasonable for you to believe that Tory Lanez may not have done this. His DNA is not on the gun. That was enough for us to say a lot of things, a lot of times, right? But you know, we want to make nice with all the women. All the black women, we don't want the black women to get upset. We know how much black women want us to respect and love them and appreciate them. And we should. And they should appreciate us. We should appreciate one another. And we should love one another. And that's another thing, guys. I realize that there are black women out there who don't feel appreciated. They don't get the support. They feel like they're not getting support from black men. And black men are the harshest critics. And they don't have any love for them. That's your situation. That's your experience. And that's real to you. And I want you to know that's fucked up. I don't like it. I don't appreciate that that's 
that the world is making you feel that way. I also want you to know that when you consume content of people shitting on black women, guess what you're going to get more of? You're going to get more content of people shitting on you because the algorithm gives you what you pay attention to. Yeah, the, yeah, the AI knows you keep watching. So they send you more of the same shit. It's not everybody. Everybody, every black man doesn't think that, women, that black women are the worst people on the planet. Not all black men think that. I don't think that, for instance. But you would think that if you are in the algorithm loop that only shows you that. So I just want people to realize that Tory Lanez, people who think that Tory Lanez may not have done this, are not crazy to think that if they watch certain news uh, sites or blog sites or only have limited time and only got limited information. But see, gun residue matters. Because that's the way that we determine who was around when a gun was fired. And there was only two people with gun residue. That was Kelsey. That was Tory. So scratch out Megan Thee Stallion from shooting herself. Because if she maneuvered that gun to shoot herself, she'd have gun residue all over her. All over the WAP. Gun residue is a big deal. We use it to solve a lot of cases. When there's gun residue on someone's hands, ah, we got people clock copying to all types of shit. That's enough to open and shut this damn case. Just the gun residue by its damn self. That's the part, okay? So that, plus, do you know but three people in the car? And we know somebody was having an argument. And we know witnesses, we got a lot of witness accounts. So we need to stop pretending that Tory Lanez is innocent in this. He ain't innocent in this. But what I'm saying is, we're beating each other up over it. And that needs to stop. I believe Tory Lanez did it. But that's not why I'm making a video. I'm making a video because people are losing their goddamn minds. Over something to me happens all the time, which is two people got into an argument and somebody used a weapon and somebody got hurt. And we're very lucky that person did not lose their access or the use of their foot and that they did not lose their life because both of those things could have happened. But what about one of the things I want to also point out is we got to stop the cap. We got to stop. Look, stop pretending that you're a gangster, Megan. You ain't a gangster. You ain't Little Kim, you ain't a gangster. Little Kim ain't Little Kim. That ain't her real name either. Everybody's pretending. Look, we are middle class people. We come from lower middle class upbringings. I do anyway. People that watch this show, Tim Black is not a thug. Tim Black is that gangster. Tim Black is a black man who has kids, who has worked in blue collar, white collar, who, taught, who took some computer courses that helped him raise his family. He also took some journalism courses that help him raise his family. This channel is not for academics and PhDs. It's not for, also not for thugs and people that want to shoot other people who want to talk about that shit all day. Most of y'all are bullshitting. You're pretending and lying to yourselves that that matters to you. It doesn't. You want it to. But in reality, what really matters is you get a good job so you can take care of your family, so you can raise your kids in some type of form of uh, stability and safety. That's what matters to you. And we need better schools. We need better roads. And we need better health care. And we need a better government. And we need cops to get off our ass. And we need people to raise our credit scores. And we need to not have our communities downgraded. We need our homes to appreciate instead of depreciate. We need discrimination to end. We need a lot of shit. That's what we need. But what we don't need is to fight over Megan Thee Stallion. And we don't need to pretend that we are all gangster when we ain't gangster. Dog, you was raised in a lower middle class household. Lower to middle class household. You got scruples. Somebody loved you. Your life wasn't easy. But you ain't you ain't up for Marcy Projects. And if if so, you trying to get the fuck out of there. Not stay there. So all this thugging and all this pretending to be thug and all this thug adjacent bullshit can cease. Because it's not helping us. Is that helping us get where we want to go? It's hurting us. It's making making the stallion not tell the truth about this shit when it happened. <clears throat> which caused this to be stretched out longer, which put a, an air of a cloud of doubt. 
And at the end of the day, Tory Lanez is where he is now. He would have been in the same place he's at now. Dealing with the repercussions of his own actions. And then I said he's the worst person in the world. He was 25. He did something really stupid. He should be apologizing for it and try to try to lessen the damage to his career and his life. We got text messages from Kelsey to the bodyguard that night saying, help us. Toy shot Megan. Now, unless you think this was some grand scheme and plot that she would shoot Megan and then text to the bodyguard that Toy shot Megan and then mess with witnesses and and then uh, fabricate the Megan hold the gun a certain way. I mean, all, unless you believe all that shit's going on, we got to cut the cap. Just cut it. It ain't black man against black woman. It's stupid versus stupid. Okay? That's what this is. Your personal experience with a black woman is your personal experience. If you had only toxic black women in your life, you dated the wrong black woman. And let's admit it, fellas. You knew she was toxic. Yeah, you figured it out at some point. You knew it was like, hey, something about her ain't right. But you stayed in it because she could really cook. Or say, let's pretend you didn't notice. I believe everyone gets signs. But let's pretend you had no signs at all. Bullshit. But let's pretend, okay? I'm going to pretend with you. Make you feel better. Did you cut it off as soon as you should have? Or could you have cut it off earlier? See, most of the times we put ourselves in these situations. Same thing goes to the women that are complaining online. See, people are taking their personal situation and they're applying it where it don't fit. Black woman, if you had a bad situation with a black man who put his hands on you and he did not go to jail, guess what? His name is not Tory Lanez. And that ain't, this story has nothing to do with your story. Those are separate things. It's sort of like with the Trevor Noah thing. With Trevor Noah's last day, he's like, I really want to thank black women because black women and made me who I am. They have helped my growth. They have created me to be the, if you want the experience of people in America, you look to a black woman. Because a black woman is fantastic. Of course, I would never myself date one or spend time with one. I prefer white women. But, 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 if I want to know the struggles of black, of people, then the black woman is where I would look. Because black women have, have, you know, be nice to me. Plus, I know, because me and my white writers talked about it, we know if I say this, it'll really help my transition to my next phase of my career. Is it working? You want to be respected. And it's nice to have someone say something nice about you. To know that you are adored and appreciated. Ladies, sisters, I adore you. I love you. But I'm not going to blow smoke up your ass. Some of y'all are fucked up. Not all of you. I got one of you right now, my wife. And she's not fucked up. But we all, they're, they're, but there are great women out there. And you deserve to be respected and appreciated. But don't become manipulated by bullshit. But I'm trying to be respectful and say, yes, I understand that you, you need to hear some good words. Some women don't get that appreciation, the reciprocation of whatever. And I respect that. I want you to know that there are men who feel the same way. They don't feel respected. They don't think that people consider their feelings and thoughts. It'd be great if we could all realize that we all want certain things. And can we can we work this out? So yes, I understand that you may have a bad story. Some things that have happened to you. And this story has brought them to the surface. So I want to be cognizant of that. And I think all brothers should be cognizant of that. Women ain't going around killing brothers. Now they are putting them in the system. Sometimes. And sometimes, them brothers need to go. In the system. Because some of y'all brothers wasn't raised right. By who though? So we could do this all day. We could blame each other all day. Because most of the brothers who have fucked up situations, who, who do these things, weren't raised in the best environments. Most of them are raised in what kind of households? And then why? So you keep asking why. You keep getting to a different place. 
But at some point, we got to say, you know what? Whatever the reason, what can we do to help it? What can we do to fix it? What can we do to make it better? How can we work on it? And you know what? Trying to destroy each other over what your opinion is of maybe this time getting shot in the foot by Tory Lanez some night after some club night after all of them were drinking at 4.30 in the morning in the Palisades or outside the Hamptons or wherever the hell they were. That ain't the way to get to their better place. That's not going to make us better. That's not going to fix black relationships or black families. If anything, it only makes it more disjointed, divided, toxic. So I don't want to be a part of that. But if you are living through Tory Lanez or through Megan Thee Stallion and their personal shit, you got a problem. You either don't have enough going on in your life or you're trying to distract yourself from your life. Either way, you are focused on the wrong shit. Because if you don't have bigger fish to fry, you need to get some. You need to get a life. Got to get one. And that's coming from somebody who covers it. My last thing I want to point out, and I think it's something we all know, but I got to remind you, the media game is garbage. Yeah, you can't trust media people, man. Media people are out here to make a buck. These blog sites, these websites, these news sites, all full of shit. They were suppressing shit on Twitter to form a narrative. They were suppressing shit on Facebook to form a narrative. They suppress shit on Fox News. You think you get the whole story on Fox? No. You get the story they want you to get. See, so come back for more. Keep coming back. Come on back. Come on back. They do the same thing on CNN and MSNBC and CBS and ABC. All the sites do it. It's called a business model. So, when you get information, may not be when I get it. And the information you get may be different than the information I get. And then we kill each other online because we don't believe the same things, but we don't even look at the same books. Once upon a time, there was a library. You go to the library, you check out a book, and guess what? Everybody had the same information. When I was studying journalism, when I first took my classes, and I had to cite sources, that was so people would know where I got my facts from. If I looked at some of y'all sites, if you had to cite some of the sources for the shit you say, I would be going to Bob's website, your cousin Leroy, when you was having a drink, having some Henny, drinking some Henny one night, he was talking. That'd be your sources. My sources would be like, New York Times, Washington Post, Fox News, this podcast, that blog site, this person, this court reporter. And all of those sources are tainted. But some of y'all sources are even worse. Some of your sources would be Lil Ray Ray down the block after he was smoking the blunt was telling me that he heard somebody had said something else about something else he had heard and somebody said they saw somebody say something. I can't remember his name, but you know, it's Big Ted. Ted the Drive the Ford Explorer. For, Ted with the Yukon? Nah, Ted with the Ford Explorer. Explore Ted. Oh, oh, yeah. Explore Ted. I'm okay. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, I know him. I know him. Yeah, he was talking to, to uh, you know, Kelly. You mean Kelly? Light skinned Kelly? No, dark skinned Kelly. Dark skinned Kelly with the two kids. The baby daddy that got shot. Oh, yeah, yeah I know which Kelly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one with the braids. Nah, the one with the, the mohawk. The slow hawk. The half mohawk. Oh, her. Now, she went bald. She had a body now? Yeah, she cut it off. What? Well, hey, know that? See, some of y'all, the sources are not very reliable. Just people just saying shit. And where'd they get it from? Who knows? So what I'm saying when we disagree, when we don't come to the same conclusions, what do we expect? And you know what? People like us to be dysfunctional. They like us to not have a full story because it generates more traffic. It's more conversation. It's more engagement. I'm part of this business that I'm trying to tell you. I don't want you to stop talking. I just don't want you to kill each other. I don't want blood on my hands over this shit. Based on what I saw, Tory Lanez is not a victim. He made a bad decision. He's going to have to pay for that. He could have killed someone. He got lucky. This could have been worse. Megan Thee Stallion, bad situation for her too. You ain't a gangster, Megan. You're a college-educated woman, a millionaire who don't need to risk her life 
fucking around, hanging out four o'clock in the morning, drinking with your friends and getting rowdy. All y'all fucked up. And Kelsey too. Grow up. It's time to grow up. I'm pretty sure all people involved wish they could go back in time and stay their ass, stay their asses at home that night. But you can't do that, can you? Last but not least, folks, I want to remind you. You are not Megan Thee Stallion. And you're not Tory Lanez. So beating each other up over it, pointless. It's not a good look. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. There were a lot of lies told in this story. Megan told some of these lies. Tory's living a lie. He know damn well that gun went off in his hand. So what have we learned? We learned we ain't going to pretend to be gangster because we not. And we ain't going to settle our problems by pulling out a gun at a woman. Dumbass. Yeah, that's, that's really... That, I got There's no excuse for that. Anybody defending this dude. At least, I'm hoping, if you are defending Tory Lanez, you must believe he did not shoot Megan Thee Stallion. And I'm telling you, it's because there's no DNA on the gun... But if there's gun residue, that's enough to get you locked up, okay? So, and I didn't see Tory Lanez take the stand and say, Kelly did it. Kelly, Kelsey did it. He didn't. So, that tells me a lot. Tells me a lot. There's a reason why he didn't take the stand. And the prosecution, I'm sorry, the defense was not trying to argue that either. So, I'm trying to... It doesn't, look, if, if Tory Lanez did this, and it looks like he did, and he's been found guilty, if you think he didn't do it, I will check my sources. But if you think a person uh, is incapable of doing something stupid one night when drunk, I don't know what planet you from. People do stupid shit while drunk all the time. It happens every day, and it doesn't make the news. It looks like it happened that night. And that's a damn shame. And it's also a damn shame that we can't have a conversation about it without us trying to kill each other. If we can't do that, there isn't much hope we're going to solve other problems. And we got bigger problems in our communities, in our families, and in our lives than this shit. But like I said in the beginning, you ain't Tory Lanez, and you ain't Megan Thee Stallion.